Newton's first law, the law of inertia. In this video, the six ball has a velocity of zero. As the cue ball hits it, an unbalanced force occurs and changes the six ball's velocity, causing it to move. Newton's first law states that an object in motion stays in motion and an object at rest stays at rest unless an unbalanced force acts on it. Newton's first law is also known as the law of inertia. To help us understand Newton's first law, we need to understand what a force is. A force is a push or pull on an object. Forces are invisible to actually see, but we notice their effects. Gravity is the force of attraction. This apple here on the tree is being attracted to Earth. The more massive an object is, the more gravity has. So that means that this car is actually having more gravity than this dog. And the house has more gravity than the car. And although every object with mass does have gravity, Earth's mass is so much greater that we only feel its attraction. Friction is a force that opposes motion. Friction from this grass slows that soccer ball down and causes it eventually to stop. Rough surfaces like this asphalt has more friction than smooth surfaces like the ice. So it's actually easier to push the tire on the ice than it is on the asphalt. There's actually no friction in space. This is why space probes that were sent years ago to go check out the planets are still traveling farther and farther away from Earth, sending back information, even though they actually have nothing to propel them. Some have even gone to the outer reaches of the solar system. When you add up all the forces acting on an object, you will get the net force. If the net force is zero, the object's velocity will not change. It's just going to keep doing what it's doing, whether that's not moving or moving 10 meters per second north. The velocity will not change. If the net force is not zero, the velocity is going to change based on the direction of the unbalanced force. This means that the object might speed up, slow down, change direction, or do a combination of these. Let's look again at that soccer ball. Before it's kicked, it has a net force of zero. All the forces acting on it are balanced, and so the soccer ball is just sitting there. Once the soccer ball gets kicked, a new force comes into the equation. This force causes the forces to be unbalanced, and the net force changes. The soccer ball moves to the left and up because there is a greater force in those directions. Inertia is an object's ability to resist the change of velocity caused by a force. The more massive it is, the more resistant it is to change. So a farmer working in the field might find it easy to push a wheelbarrow when there's nothing in it. However, once it is filled with rocks, it's going to be a lot more difficult to move. <laughs> Bowling pins have a mass of around 1.5 kilograms. This is why a bowling ball with a mass of 4.5 kilograms is able to break through them very easily, while the soccer ball with a mass of 0.75 kilograms kind of just bounces off. Let's review. When the forces are balanced, the velocity object does not change. When the forces become unbalanced, the velocity object will change. Objects with more mass have more inertia than those with less mass. This is why a big dump truck will take longer to stop than a small car. To find out if the forces are balanced or unbalanced, you need to find the net force. We add forces going in the same direction and subtract forces going in the opposite direction. So that means we need to add the force of these two kids and subtract them from friction. We also need to subtract gravity from normal force. This gives us a net force of 150 newtons to the right. And so the van is going to move to the right. 
Newton's first law explains why wearing your seatbelt is so important. If the car you're riding in is going 50 miles per hour and has to suddenly stop, you will continue moving 50 miles per hour until an unbalanced force stops you. And hopefully, that force comes from your seatbelt and not the windshield. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.